battery tray removal. So, as you can see, my battery tray needs to be replaced. Probably due to battery acid and rust and whatnot. It, it's eaten three years, seen better days. Um, <clears throat> so let's take a look at, sorry, I've been sick for a while, so I keep on coughing. Pretty, very simple. Initially, however, if you take your battery out, you're gonna find these two screws sitting in there. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit so it's a little off. Uh, but, but these are gonna be two screws. Two screws with the washer. These are seen better days. Uh, sitting on top. Each one, this is the other washer. That's why the other one doesn't have one because it rusted out. All right, that's simple. You take that out. The bottom, however, I don't know how you're gonna take it out. I'm gonna show you. I don't know how you're gonna take it out because if you look down here, see if we can get under there. There's a, a cross section down here, all right? This bottom bottom. And those two holes in there thread from underneath. Now, let's go look at that. So, this is back underneath the car, directly underneath. Right there, now, from the last video I showed you, where I kept saying, for some reason, saying the word fender when I meant to say bumper. Uh, these two bolts go in for that um, stability bar that comes up and holds the, the bumper as well. They bolt in here. That bolt, you'll be able to get out without taking it out. But this one, it gives you no clearance, essentially no clearance uh, to take it off without taking off that bumper bar. Yours may be different. Mine was... Uh, zero to none. So uh, the only way I, I, I would realize I could take it out is after I had removed my bumper anyway. So once you do that, you're gonna have two bolts. Look like so, very simple. Just very similar to the top ones. And it comes out, and after you do that, your battery tray compartment will come. This is the other one in case you're wondering where it was, I pulled it out. Your battery tray compartment will pop straight up. And there's, a, there's many different types of of uh, battery trays. Uh, oh, also this piece. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is a, a buffer that was lost that fell in underneath it. But this was sitting underneath my my tray. Um, I'm heavily doubting because it was it was just chilling there. Um, I heavily doubt it was part of it, but maybe someone put it there for noise reduction or something. Maybe it was rattling. Who knows? It was so rusty. I don't know. Uh, but uh, also, I use West Coast Classic Cougar and. I'll put a link in there for you. Um, it, it, they're amazing. They're amazing and everything. I, I, I use some of their pictures to to get me through this, and I use them as my. Uh, I also use them as my uh, thumbnail just to identify what I'm working on. But there's a lot of different battery tray compartments um, for the model. There's different ones for the for, for the if you had a Cobra Jet a 429. Uh, and there's different up, optional upgrade models. So I'm going to try to match some of the best I can and uh, go from there. So I don't know which model I currently have, but I'll, I'll do the best I can. A battery tree is a battery tree though. You really don't see much of it besides maybe, eh, maybe that, that bracket in there with the batteries in it. So battery tree removal.